Longwood is one of the great gardens of the world. We're located in southeastern Pennsylvania in the United States, just about 45 miles south and west of Philadelphia. People come from all around the world to visit Longwood Gardens uh, to see our extraordinary collection of plants from around the world and our iconic um, architecture and beautiful conservatories and also our incredible collection of gardens that are representing some of the greatest designs and designers from the 20th and 21st century. On March 14th, um, actually March 13th, when we uh, made the decision to close Longwood, um, it was very painful. And so when we made that decision, to be really honest, I have, we had no idea how long it would last. And that was probably the most challenging part of everything was the uncertainty. And so we went from having about 500 hands, um, so 250 plus people that were here dedicated to taking care of the gardens. That included volunteers, full-time staff, and part-time staff. And overnight, that number dwindled down to less than 50. We immediately moved into crisis management mode in the horticulture department because we realized very quickly that uh, there was risk mitigation that had to take place and we had to think that differently about caring for the garden, especially the core collections and the areas that would decline the quickest. How do we care for this place and provide for the most basic care possible? And the tough decisions that we had to make included what to do with all of our seasonal displays. So we plan our seasons two, three, five years out, a minimum a year and a half. And so the spring display we planned well over a year ago, if not longer, hundreds of thousands of spring flowering bulbs. So they were all getting ready to come in to flower. We didn't have the staff to care for them and we didn't have guests. And so we actually had to make the really tough decision to send our entire spring bulb display to the compost pile. The orchid collection is one of our core collections of the highest priority, uh, primarily because it's of historic value and the breadth of the collection is enormous. And we immediately started pulling the plants off of display. Uh, we know that we can care for the plants more quickly and efficiently in the growing houses. And so we quickly deployed the team to the orchid cases, removed the orchids and brought them back to the growing houses. In addition to having to make some really difficult decisions about uh, the care of our gardens and prioritizing what we're gonna care for, and also those little things that you take for granted, the number one priority was the safety of the staff that were coming in to work to provide the care that, that was needed. And so thankfully, the Centers for D Disease Control in the state of Pennsylvania and our local health department had issued very clear guidance about what was required um, for workers to protect them. And so we immediately implemented all of those procedures overnight, immediately. So face masks, protective face shields, gloves, mandatory distancing, the limiting of number of people that could be in a room or a location together. And then all those things are just standard practices now at Longwood. My mask is in my back pocket. <laughs> when we decided to close and we didn't have guests, so we lost immediately that personal contact that we have with them to share with them the many layers of our mission and our story. And so we totally had to change once again that level of engagement and it had to go virtual, 100% virtual. Whereas in the pre-COVID life, virtual was supplementary. Virtual is now it. And that's how we're engaging our guests. And so bringing the stories of Longwood forward in new and creative ways, whether it was live synchronous with school children, or pulling from our archives, video footage that we thought, mm, maybe we'll use someday. Well, guess what? We're using that stuff now to engage our community. And it's been really great. We've, we have never had as many people engaged in our social media channels than we've had right now. This experience has, has taught me a lot about my team that I did not know. And while I suspected they were a nimble bunch and they could switch gears quickly, it wasn't until this happened that I realized how well they could do that. 
We've always been great planners. Longwood is a planning organization and to suddenly have to develop a crisis management plan uh, that would work with a skeleton crew was a challenge, but they did it admirably. And the other part of this is everyone in the department and really in the entire organization has worked together to make Longwood uh, what it is today, that we've maintained our standards. And so uh, it's been pretty amazing uh, to watch the compassion and dedication of the team.